Hi, I'm Shelly. I'm the founder of Mission Ambition, and welcome to Dare to Be. This is our newsletter that goes out at the beginning of every week with the hopes of encouraging and inspiring you to do great things. It's really easy to get lazy as we start to move through our week, so I'm going to encourage you to fight that temptation as much as you possibly can. We're going to get right into it. Your dare for this week, I dare you to own the moment that pushed you into greatness. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of personal stories that illustrate this point. The first one has to do with finances. That's a really touchy subject, and it's a personal subject. So many years ago, I found myself as a single mother, and there was one time, there were a lot of tight times, but there was one time in particular where I was really, really scared about having enough money to cover the bills. This one particular moment, I remember crying and praying that the funds would match up just at the right moment so that I didn't end up in an overdraft. In that moment, I swore to myself that I would figure out a better way to handle my finances, and it pushed me into greatness when it comes to how I handle my money. Another good example of that, this one has to do with the fitness world. I was in the tryout room with a whole bunch of clothes, and I needed to buy new fitness pants. Why? Not because I didn't have any. It was because they didn't fit. I had tons of workout clothes, and you know what? The, we the weather was getting colder, and they didn't fit. And so I was going to have to buy a bigger size. And I spent probably 30 minutes trying out all the different kinds in that room, and I finally came out and decided, you know what? Enough is enough. I don't need more workout pants. I need to be able to fit in the ones that I have. And so I wore those tight workout pants for probably about a good month, and day after day, they got a little smaller and a little smaller. And before you knew it, I was pushed into greatness and I owned all the size that I still have. It's a size large in some of them, by the way, so don't be fooled. So where are you? Where is that moment? Sometimes in that moment, we think it's a failure moment, but it's really not. That can be the moment that pushes you into greatness. So I'm going to ask you, what is that moment? Maybe you've got them in your past already. Do you look at them with shame and failure? Or have you really come out of that moment towards success? Maybe it's trying to buy a coat and you're used to the XL, but this time it's a little snug and you're thinking you're going to have to buy the double XL. Don't give in to that moment. Take it, earn a lesson, and push towards success. What do I mean with success? That means that you've changed your behavior, you've learned something out of it, and you're using that story to help encourage and inspire others. I'm not happy about my fitting room moment and I'm not happy about that time that all my bills almost got overdrafted out of my accounts. But you know what? I learned from it, I moved on, and I'm a better person because of it. I'm Shelly Rood with Mission Ambition. You're there for this week. Own your moment that pushed you into greatness. I am Shelly Rood with Mission Ambition. If you would love for me to come in and spread the message of encouragement to your team, please email me at coach at shellyrood.com. Check us out on the web at missionambition.org. And while you're there, head over to Facebook and leave me a five-star review. Thank you so much, you guys. Go out and have an awesome work week. It's beautiful. I'm glad the sun's out today.